In honor of what we're talking about today, I offer this to you. I arrived and enrolled at Canal Zone College the next day, and I saw all of these black people in all kinds of hues. I had no idea. My ignorance was profound. I knew that they could not be black Americans who were tied to the eight military bases there, but I had no idea where I had arrived. Well, I think we are at a moment of increasing ascendancy uh, in the awareness of blackness throughout the hemisphere. There is more than one way of being black, yeah? And that there is no correct way of being black, yeah? And that uh, all blackness is local. The, the idea of Afro-Latino is something that uh, it's challenging. It can be threatening for some populations. Uh, it stirs up the status quo. I personally think that it's a great moment because we as Afro-Latin Americans and Afro-Latinos can use this space and this year as an opportunity to voice out more our, our, our presence, our reality, our experiences. The three-point racial consciousness, just, just talk a little about it. Well, we're blacks, we're Latinos, and we're American, whatever that is. So that means that we can teach African Americans, my brothers and sisters, about the specificity of our position and teach them about, hey, you know that the black experience in the American, the Caribbean, precedes your experience by 100 years? So in many ways, you should be learning from us. In terms of the Latino community, who plays all kinds of silly games that don't talk about race, don't divide us. I'm like, I'm not dividing you. We have been divided for 500 years. I'm just making us aware of the division so we can go beyond. You cannot put esto debajo de la sabanita. You cannot continue putting this under the rug. Let's talk about this trade. And in terms of the nation, the nation is browning. The nation is becoming increasingly a Latino nation. So we are the bridge. We are the, 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 the key to the future. How people think and feel based on socialization, not on their genetic pool, because we obviously spring from the same genetic pool. I would ask you to consider how Latinos, in changing the narrative, put forth a cultural narrative of who Afro-Latinos are in their plurality, not just as another variation of skin color born someplace else uh, with a transnational family. Mm -hmm.